Hi, it's Mr. Kelly again, and in this video we're going to look at making a prize fall from the top of the screen to the bottom. So, before we start, this sort of technique is really useful for falling fruit type games, catch the fruit type games. So I've used a banana, and it's important to understand that the Y coordinate on the stage is up and down and the X is left and right and as I move my mouse you can see the coordinates down here change so you can judge the coordinates there at the top of the stage the very top is 180 on Y and the very bottom is minus 180 so what we're going to do is get this these bananas to go to the top of the screen appear at a random place on the X axis left and right after a random amount of time and then drop at a random speed to the bottom and then keep doing that so um, I'm going to use the green flag to start my bananas if you're using a broadcast like start game then that's what you put in there instead um, but when the green flag is clicked I want my bananas to hide I don't want them to show up I then want them to go to the very top of the screen so that's 180 on the y-axis and I want them to pick a random value on the X left and right so operators pick random the very leftmost point is minus 240 and the rightmost point is 240 there we go I then want them to wait for and again we're going to use this pick random quite a lot a random amount of time 1 to 10 seconds is ages, I'm going to use 1 to 4 just so we can test this quite quickly um, so it'll wait for somewhere between 1 and 4 seconds and then I want it to show so that's the getting set up bit at the start of the game hide go to the top somewhere left to right wait for between 1 and 4 seconds and then turn up so let's see if it does that there we go at the top somewhere on the left to right let's see if it picks a different one this time yep and you'll notice it waited a bit longer because it's somewhere between one and four seconds so now we've got it appearing at the top we want it to fall um, so let's do that um, we're going to use in motion we're going to use a glide command and I'm going to work right to left on this we want it to fall to the bottom so that's to do with the y-axis so we don't want it to 180 the bottom is minus 180 X now this is tricky because it's picked a random value up here so we need it to detect what it's picked and for that we use a sensing command and we want it to detect the X position of and I've called it sprite 1 let me just call it bananas there we go X position of bananas so what that will do is it will detect what it's picked up there that means the X stays the same as it falls and it will fall in a straight line and glide one second that's quite quick let's have a little look it's waiting it's turning up and it's falling in a straight line if you want your bananas or your prizes to fall at different speeds every time they turn up use a pick random one second is really quick, ten seconds is extremely slow. Again, I'm going to use one to four just to make it. Four seconds is quite slow anyway, but let's have a look now. And it should pick random speeds. There we go. That one was quite slow. That one was quite quick. There we are. Um, finally, we want it to repeat. So normally if your game's quite simple you'd use a forever loop and pop that round if you're including a timer and a game over screen and such what you might want to do instead is put in repeat until get an operators and equals here and I haven't got a timer variable but repeat until and you'd have a timer here timer equals zero and get it to do that so it just keep doing it until your timer ran down to zero then you could get it to hide and switch to the game over screen if you put your forever in it'll keep going but if you've got a game over screen or anything like that you're gonna find it tricky to get the bananas to hide on the game over screen and they'll keep falling in front of it let's just have a little test with my forever because I haven't got a timer
There we go. Lovely. Now to get more sprites doing this, let me just mention this. If I just import another sprite, like... I don't know. What can I have? An umbrella. There we go. If I import that, um, make it a bit smaller. What I can do is just duplicate that script over. However, we need to tweak it because it's still detecting the X position of the bananas. Is that how you spell umbrella? I hope so. Um, so what I will do is I'll change it to detect the X position of itself. So that should fall in a straight line now as well. So now we should have two prizes falling at random. At random speeds, in random places. There we go. So that's how to make prizes fall from the ceiling.